Hello, good day. This tutorial will focus on how to download recordings or listen to a recording of an active agent on the phone dialer system of Nextiva. First thing, open your Chrome browser and then go to this address, recorder5.nextiva.com. And then log in your assigned user account. Next, you'll be on this default page. If you'd like to listen to the recordings or a live call of an agent, go to Live here and then select the group name that you're assigned to hit submit and then you should all see the agents assigned to you right now they're not making any calls but once they start making calls the local party should be active and then there should be a play button on one of these columns once you have that click on the play button and you'll be able to listen to their recordings while they're on call now for the recordings, go to Browse. If you'd like to listen to a an incoming call or an outgoing call from a certain date, all you have to do is type in the phone number of the customer or the lead that was contacted by your agent. So for example, uh, Amy Ross was contacted this number just type it inside the local party field oh sorry the remote party field and then select the date let's say September 24 until if you would like until today just uh, just leave the end date field blank and then hit search Right now there are no results, but if you type in one, there should be. There you go. As you've noticed, um, this one is kind of sensitive. It should be exact. There. But if you need to look for an incoming call, okay, let's leave this one blank. Let's search. An incoming call would have a plus sign on the phone number. So if we're going to search for this number, this one is an incoming call, we'll have to put it on the remote party again and then hit search. And there you have it. If you want to listen, click on this button. Hello, you've reached ERSI and my... And then the navigation is here on top. If you want to download this recording, all you have to do is click on the text box, select the action that you'd like to do, export selected media file, or if you'd like to if you'd like to download all the results, hit on export query results media file. I advise you not to delete the recording so that uh, just in case we need our QAs need data, it will still be there. So just hit on export if you need to download the file. If you'd like to search for the recordings of one specific user, all you have to do is filter by user. There you go. And then hit on user. For example, if you'd like to search for the recordings of Andy Smith, select that user. And then you'd like to see all of his recordings for a certain date you go to for example September 30 search these are all the recordings he made for that day and if you'd like to export the data from here click on reports you'd like an CSV or an I mean a PDF file copy all you have to do is download by 
recordings per user report under here or you may download from here CSV or PDF HTML file is a web page so you won't be using this one I advise PDF or CSV so if we're gonna export by PDF for example here this is how the data should look like there it has the date from and then to 73 seconds it's an outgoing call made by from that number okay see you on the next video thank you again for watching